What's going on everybody, it's Ace Journey Ninja here today, my dudes, to bring you a brand new battle video with my friend FlameX. We, this was a battle from a stream that we had a little while back. Um, I don't know exactly when this video is going up, but it's been a while since we had that stream. So this was a battle from that stream. <clears throat> if you guys have seen this battle already, leave a comment down below. Let me know you guys were there. I'd be very interested to know how many people watched these videos that were actually in the stream. How many people are still sticking around the channel and watching stuff. I'd be very interested to know who you are and how long you've been around. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, guys, this is a very, very fun battle. Because we have a very interesting team that we are going up against. So if you guys are excited for a great battle video, hit the like button down below for me. It really does help out a lot. Hit the subscribe button as well if you're new around here and share this video with a friend. But with that, guys, let's get started. Woohoo! Look at that stance. <laughs> you have the Pikachu outfit and everything. Anyway, we're facing off here. I lead off with my Landris. By the way, I don't know what's up with my voice right now. It's very, it, feels, it sounds very scratchy and it feels very weird. I don't really like him. Anyway, I'm going to lead off with Landris. He's leading off with the Mimikyu, and I get the Intimidate off, which ends up being a very big deal because this does happen to be a Swords Dance Mimikyu. I'm going to go ahead and U-turn just to break the sub and get something out here that could really handle this Mimikyu. I was really hoping that my <coughs> my boy Nico could come in, my Mega Venusaur, and really just just, just wall this, this Mimikyu. He just was going to come in and do the work. So he's going to get up a Swords Dance pretty much for free, but he does have the Intimidate on him already, so he's going to just get plus one instead of plus two, which is a very big deal. <coughs> what the hell is in my throat? <clears throat> Jesus. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and Mega Evolve, Mega Evolve while he goes for the Shadow Claw. And I'm going to go ahead and fire off a Sludge Bomb on this Mimikyu. Now, I realized just before going for this attack that Sludge Bomb actually is not super effective on Mimikyu because of the ghost typing, which I did not know. The fun fact for you, maybe you didn't know either. But anyway, I got the poison on the Mimikyu, which is, is very good, very cool. I'm very happy with the with the poison. He's going to go for the Shadow Claw, and because I'm pretty low HP, I went ahead and went for the Synthesis, and I'm just going to stall out and let this Mimikyu go down to the poison so that I can get as much HP back as possible and be as high HP as possible when the next Pokemon comes in. I'm going to take a sip of my water real fast because I don't know what's in my throat. <clears throat> is that better? Not really. What is in my throat? <sighs> okay, so yeah, like I said, I'm just going to stall out the poison. The Mimikyu goes down to the poison, which is great. Absolutely fantastic. Because now I have over half HP to deal with this big old frightening Garatina, who is shiny and beautiful and blue, and I love him very much. Anyway, I'm going <laughs> to get a Toxic off of this Garatina, which was something I really thought I needed to do, because I know the Garatina typically runs pretty bulky, and I didn't really have anything to hit this thing super, super hard. I did have a Shadow Ball, uh, a Choice Spec Shadow Ball from a Jolteon, but I didn't think that would really be enough to KO, so I went ahead and got the, the Poison off. He's going to go ahead and fire off a Draco Meteor, which is going to drop his special attack, which is very important to me, because now I outspeed and I can go for the Synthesis and just start eating attacks. <clears throat> I'm so sorry my voice sounds weird. I don't know what... What is it? What? Why? Why? Anyway, he's going to go ahead and vanish. He's going to just disappear into the Shadow Realm, and... uh I'm not going to see him for a whole turn, and it's going to be sad, because I really love the shiny. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and fire off another synthesis, because I do have speed, and I can't touch him anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and get to full HP, because I'm not sure how much this attack is going to do, but I know I can eat one. I know I can eat it. He Look at him, just coming, flying out of nowhere. Ooh. Okay, still taking toxic damage, though, which is very, very important. I'm going to fire off an energy ball, just to get a little bit of chip damage on this thing, just to do a little bit of damage. I know I knew it wouldn't do much. <coughs> He's going to fire off an Earth Power back at me, which also doesn't do much because of that special attack drop from the Draco Meteor. The poison damage is really starting to rack up, and I think he's going to go down this turn, but I went ahead and fire off an Energy Ball anyway, just to make sure, because I know that I can live one more hit of whatever he wants to do. He just has to go for another Draco Meteor. I guess he's trying to get big damage before he goes down, um, and it still does a fair amount to me. But he does still have that attack drop, and he gets another one. But it doesn't matter, because he's going to go down to the poison right now anyway. And I still have my Mega Venusaur left. So I'm hoping that whatever he sends in, I can either swap out on or outspeed to heal up. I can. I don't think I can outspeed this thing, because I'm afraid of the first impression. So I went ahead and swapped out. I brought in my Embor here. I figured he could eat a first impression. If he goes for water-type attack, then GG. 
He went ahead and set up the Swords Dance, which I was not expecting. I thought he would just go for the first impression off the bat, try and get damage. But sadly, that was not the case. I hope I will outspeed. But I'm, after thinking about it, I was like, no, I best will opt out. I went back on Nico, who I thought could eat a Water-type attack, which I was correct. He went for the Water Shell, and Nico lives on 4 HP. Now, after dropping my defense, I figured, you know what? Nico, you got 4 HP left. I'll just go ahead and stay in a synthesis. If I don't, if I don't outspeed, then that's too bad. If I do outspeed, then great, I have more HP. I did outspeed, though, and I got my HP back, but he went ahead and went for the Leech Life, which after the Swords Dance was going to be enough to KO, which I was not happy about at all. I was hoping to keep Nico around for a little while. Anyway, I brought in the Landorus here to try and get the Intimidate on this thing so we would stop hitting so hard, and I was just going to outspeed him, do a little bit of damage, and I went ahead and went for the Rock Slide, hoping I could just force him out, which I was expecting I would, but then he popped his berry, which was which was very disheartening, let me just add. It was very disheartened. Because now he can stay in and go for the Razor Shell, which Landris is not going to live because he is still plus one and is super effective <coughs> and stab. So that was that was pretty much a waste of a Landris. So I brought in Flash here. I figured if nothing else, I can force this thing out. He went for the Sucker Punch to get damage. He almost picked up the KO with the Sucker Punch, which was would have been very bad. But I do I do live and fire off the Thunderbolt, which is super effective, and stab. So he does go down. The Glissopod is gone, which I'm very happy about. He brings in his Nihi Lego, which I was a little bit nervous about. I didn't really know how I was going to handle this thing. I went ahead and fired off a Thunderbolt, thinking I can just get big damage on it. And we'll see where we go from there. It does over half, and he fires off a Power Gen, which is going to KO Flash. But that's okay. He did a lot of work already. So, you know what? He earned a spot. The Nihi Lego does get his Beast Boost, which does boost his special attack, which I figured... Was, I, I figured he was a specially defensive set, but I guess not. I brought in Azelf, who I knew could outspeed and fire off a, a Psy Shock, which was going to pick up the KO pretty much no matter what. I probably would have even KO'd from full health because this is a um, max special attack, max speed Azelf. Uh, he's going to bring his Pikachu here, which I didn't know what it wanted to do. I figured I might try and paralyze. I went ahead and just went for the Psy Shock again anyway, thinking I'll probably KO, and I do. Um, but it's very kind of it's very cool to see a Pikachu show up in a battle, even though it didn't do much. I was excited to see Pikachu. Anyway, he brings in a Sylveon here, which I didn't really know what I was going to do again, so I went ahead and fired off my Z move, which is going to be the Psychium Z, um, which is going to be the Psyker, the Shattered Psyche. Look at how angry he gets. <clears throat> Love it. <laughs> I'm gonna fire off that Shattered Psyche, which is actually the most powerful Psychic type attack in the entire game. Uh, no duh, right? You're thinking? Well, I actually, I actually, I didn't know this, but it's actually the most powerful, if not one of the most powerful psychic type, uh, not Z moves in the game as well. So that's, that's pretty cool. Anyway, he's going to set up his sub so he can live a few attacks here. I figured um, while he's subbed up, I might as well set up the nasty plot and so I can break that sub. No problem. <coughs> that was the hope. That was the game plan. He goes for the draining kiss, which is going to do a fair amount to me. Um... But I do live it pretty decently. I can take two. But he does get a, a good amount of HP back, which is a little bit of a problem. Because on top of leftovers, he's going to get himself above half. And I still have to worry about that sub. So I went ahead and fired off the hidden power, thinking my hidden power may KO. And make it, or may knock out the sub, at least. But it doesn't, and he fires off a hyper beam, which is a, I guess, might be a pixelate hyper beam. Which is a pretty weird set, but that's pretty cool, I guess, at the same time. It does pick up the KO. Of course, it is a Hyper Beam, so of course it's going to do a lot. He's a sub Hyper Beam set, which I've never really seen before. I, I have seen the sub, but I didn't expect the sub Hyper Beam. Anyway, I'm going to bring in my Embor here, <coughs> because I have not seen anything I'm really super afraid of. I'm going to fire off the Flame Charge, just going to boost my speed. I changed out speed anyway, which I was not really expecting. I do have max attack, max speed on this Embor. I hope this Embor set is just really built to confuse people. It does have the... Um, the assault vest on it just so it can it can try and live some attacks but it pretty much is just meant to outspeed and then poison jab the fairy types that I'm afraid of which it did very well here in this battle and it's gonna KO the Jolteon winning the match in my favor that was a very fun game though I do I, I will give you that Flamex I will give you that if you guys want to check out Flamex I will leave a link to his uh, channel and his Twitter in the top of the description he's a pretty cool guy you guys definitely check him out 
I'm sorry. I don't know what's in my throat. I don't mean to keep coughing in your ear. I'm going to get out before I bust your eardrums from my coughing. I gotta. I just got to go to bed. I got to stop recording videos. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit the like button down below for me. It really does help out a lot. You guys don't even know. Hit the subscribe button as well if you're new around here and share this video with a friend. But with that, guys, I'm going to get up out. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.